Shalom and thank you for joining us for All Israel 101. I'm Kayla Sprague and I'm here at the Sea of Galilee where Jesus did 80% of his ministry. And today we're going to explore the deep significance of Tisha B'Av, one of the most solemn days in the Jewish calendar and what it means for Jews in Israel and around the world, especially in this time. So what makes Tisha B'Av special? This day, the ninth of the Hebrew month of Av, holds a unique place in Jewish history and tradition. It's a day that marks not just one, but several major tragedies that have befallen the Jewish people over thousands of years. Most importantly, Tisha B'Av commemorates the destruction of both the first and second temples in Jerusalem. The first temple built by King Solomon was destroyed by the Babylonians in 586 BCE. The second temple, which stood during the time of Jesus, was destroyed by the Romans in 70 CE. These events were turning points in Jewish history, leading to periods of exile and profound challenges in religious practice. But that's not all. Jewish tradition associates several other calamities with Tisha B'Av, each adding layers of significance to this solemn day. It's said that on this date, the spies sent by Moses returned with a discouraging report about the Promised Land, leading to 40 years of wandering in the desert. Centuries later, in 135 CE, the Bar Kokhba revolt against the Roman rule was crushed on Tisha B'Av, dealing a severe blow to Jewish hopes for independence. The day's tragic associations extend into medieval times as well. In 1290, it marked the expulsion of Jews from England, a decree that would stand for centuries. Then, in what many would consider the most traumatic event in Jewish history, the expulsion of Jews from Spain was set in motion on Tisha B'Av in 1492. These events, spanning over a millennium, have cemented Tisha B'Av as a day of remembrance for the Jewish people's historic sufferings and perseverance. Some also associate more recent tragedies with this day, such as the start of World War I in 1914 and the mass deportation of Jews from the Warsaw Ghetto to Treblinka death camp. This began on the eve of Tisha B'Av in 1942. Tisha B'Av has become a day for the Jewish people to remember not just these specific events, but all of the hardships and persecutions they've faced throughout history. It's a day of fasting, prayer, and reflection, and it serves as a powerful reminder to the Jewish people of their resilience and determination to survive despite adversity. In Israel today, people still take Tisha B'Av very seriously. It's a day that bridges the gap between ancient history and modern life. Places like movie theaters and restaurants are often closed, and many Israelis spend the day in synagogues where they read from the Book of Lamentations. But it's not just about sadness. Tisha B'Av also carries messages of hope and unity. Many communities organize study sessions focusing on Jewish history and ethics. Some people use the day to volunteer or encourage acts of kindness, turning the pain of the past into motivation for creating a better future. For younger Israelis, Tisha B'Av often serves as a powerful connection to their heritage. Schools and youth movements organize special programs, helping children and teenagers understand the significance of the day and how it relates to their lives in modern Israel today. Interestingly, Tisha B'Av has also become a day of reflection on contemporary issues. Some use it as an opportunity to discuss current challenges facing Israeli society, from social justice to the ongoing search for peace in the region. The observance of Tisha B'Av in Israel is a vivid example of how ancient tradition can remain relevant in modern society. It shows how a nation can honor its past while looking towards the future, using lessons from history to guide its path forward. On this significant day, we invite you, our viewers, to reflect on its meaning and have hope for the Jewish people, to worship God in His holy place like in the days of old. Please join us in prayer that on this day, more Jewish people will see Yeshua and see the eternal covenant from the perfect sacrificial Lamb of God, who offered perfect atonement for the sins of the world once and for all. Thank you for joining us for this All Israel 101 video. For more Israel-related content, please subscribe to our channel and visit us at allisrael.com.